Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you happen to be new here, my name is Ashley. It is Wednesday and it is the end of season one in my cosmetology series. If you guys haven't noticed, I have been posting once every Wednesday, every other Wednesday um, in my cosmetology series and this has been the first season, I guess, and it's been about skincare. So this is my fifth and final video talking about skincare. I will not be posting next Wednesday. I will be using that day to work on my next season, which will be 10 full weeks talking about makeup products and makeup applications. I will have this full season linked down below as well as the playlist with this full season in it so you guys can get all caught up if you would like to. So in this video, to close off this season, we're going to be talking about face masks and moisturizers. The first thing that I want to talk about are masks. They can be spelled two different ways, M-A-S-Q-U-E-S or M-A-S-K-S, and they are pretty much the exact same thing I will show you right now. So what I mean by they're the same is that they are applied the same way. You just apply them all over your face, wait for them to dry, and then take them off as directed. But these two are masks. You will notice they are spelled M-A-S-Q-U-E-S instead of M-A-S-K-S. That's gonna get really annoying if I keep spelling that out. I'm sorry. But these two are to detoxify your skin. I think that's a common, uh, a common thing with masks, masks, um, is that they are detoxifying for the skin and that's great. They feel really great when you put them on. Now this is just a peel off mask. These I just get from Walmart. I rave about these in my empties video. I really enjoy them. So what I just showed you and all other masks, face masks, are just concentrated treatments made of many different things that you can choose according to your skin needs. Such as mineral clays, moisturizing agents, softeners, aromatherapy, botanical extracts, and things used to cleanse, exfoliate, tighten, tone, hydrate, and nourish the skin. So let's go a little more in depth into what different types of masks there are. Clay-based masks absorb oil and sometimes will exfoliate the skin. These have an astringent effect on oily or combination skin, which can make large pores temporarily appear smaller. And if you don't know what astringent means, it's pretty much just a substance that causes the contraction of body tissues, which is just used to protect the skin. These sometimes have additional ingredients to soothe the skin or include antibacterial ingredients like sulfur. I know that sounds really gross, but that is really helpful for acne prone skin. Now cream masks, I don't have it with me, but I do use the Pond's cold cream and I do sometimes use it as a mask. I know a lot of people do. These often contain oils and emollients just to soften and soothe the skin as well as humectants to preserve moisture. They do have a strong moisturizing effect. Gel masks can be used for more sensitive or dehydrated skin and they don't dry hard at all. Now an alginate mask is often seaweed based. They come in powder form, are mixed with water and are placed over a serum or a treatment cream. A treatment cream is specifically designed to change the appearance of someone's skin. The alginate mask then forms a tight seal around the skin to encourage the skin to absorb all of the moisture that it can. Now these masks are really only used in the salon. There are a few other masks that I won't really talk about, but I will talk about peel off masks because I did mention it. Now I do think that peel off masks are just kind of gimmicky and they're fun to peel off. I do use them because a lot of them make my skin feel tighter and more firm, but like I said, I think they are solely satisfaction based. So moving on to moisturizers. I have mentioned before how important it is to keep your skin moisturized and hydrated. By definition, moisturizers are products that are used to promote moisture and increase the moisture content on the skin surface. Moisturizers can also help take care of fine lines and wrinkles in the skin. Now oilier skin does not need much moisturizers because the skin does produce more than enough sebum to keep the skin hydrated. So let's talk some specifics. Sunscreens. These can be a moisturizer that include SPF to protect the skin against harmful UVA and UVB rays from the sun. Exposure to sun over long amounts of time over a person's lifespan may result in not only premature aging of the skin, but it can cause a majority of skin cancers. So protect your skin. I once went to Canada's Wonderland and did not wear sunscreen for the whole day and got the worst sunburn of my life and I will never do that again. 
Now most sun exposure in someone's life is from is just from casual sun exposure, so generally try to choose an SPF that contains a broad spectrum sunscreen. SPF of 15 or higher is usually recommended for the facial area. Night creams are a little bit more intense, but they are used to treat specific problems throughout the night. These products are a little bit heavier than day use products such as sunscreens or just basic moisturizing creams and lotions and these can contain a higher level of conditioning ingredients. Now serums are just a more concentrated ingredient used under moisturizers or sunscreens used to penetrate the skin and treat a number of skin conditions. And ampules are just individual doses of serums in little vials. Well, I guess I'm going to end this video here. I am so thrilled to finally be ending the first season of my cosmetology series. Don't forget the playlist is linked down below. And if you guys have any suggestions for this cosmetology series as a whole, please, as always, leave them in the comments down below. And please check back this week because I will be announcing my fundraiser, which I am so excited about. So if you aren't and you would like so if you aren't and you would like to become a member of my small but fast growing family here on YouTube, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as give me a thumbs up if you like me and enjoy what I'm doing here. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. I will see you in my next video. Sayonara suckers.